What's up guys, it's Acro Brandon, and today we're gonna to be talking about men's pull shorts. Okay, so this is something that was surging on Facebook the other day, people have been looking for recommendations. I haven't really been doing uh, any pull related reviews or uh, vlogging in a really long time, and that's something I might actually get back into. So, let's get right to it and talk about what's available for men. Uh, there really aren't a whole lot of options out there. There's a few companies here and there, so I'm gonna give you a few ideas of the options that I've gone through over the past five to six years being a male pole dancer and looking for short options. So one option is Lululemon. So they have these like yoga um, boxers. They're like, I don't know, 35, $40. You know, Lululemon's expensive shit. But they do have some really cool patterns. It's really stretchy, it fits, it's not too bad, and you know it keeps you well contained without revealing too much, which is good. Something I try to keep in mind being a teacher. They didn't last very long too much. The elastic band started to give out after a little while, but nonetheless, they worked out decent if you need a quick pair of shorts and you're in a pinch. Another pair that I got is a company called Hey Hey & Co. They're up in uh, Canada. I actually had a custom pair made from them, so look, little hey hey, shot out, right? So they have some different custom fabrics that they have. I like these ones. I wear these pretty regularly. She basically made this after a pair of underwear that I tend to wear a lot that I like. I like the cut, I like the way it looked on me. So I gave them a pair. I said, model it after this, and they can do that for you too. So you have hey hey. These ones are actually really comfortable, and I wear them quite frequently when I'm teaching and training. Now the other option is Dragonfly brand. Dragonfly brand has a men's line. Uh, they have a variety of colors, but they have really just two cuts. They have more of like a brief and then they have like a slightly like longer boxer brief style. I have black, okay. I have a pair of this purple violet color. I don't wear this one too much. I don't know why I got that color, but I was feeling it when I did. And nude, because everybody should have a pair of nude shorts you know for special performances and whatnot now what do i really like about dragonfly brand and this is probably the number one short that i wear all the time so i have the black ones it doesn't really matter but the fabric itself is really nice like one of the most comfortable fabrics that i've felt in a long time that i wear consistently i like the black one the best because it's a little bit more low-key it doesn't show a whole lot of you know my junk even though i want to show my junk off because i'm a dude but the purple ones will show a little bit of an outline sometimes. So sometimes I'm kind of 50-50 on whether or not I want to wear these. Usually I don't want to have to wear another layer under the initial layer, but it's not bad. So it could use maybe like a third layer just right in the jock area. And then the nude ones, for sure, you're gonna see the outline of my dick if I wear these without anything underneath, okay? So that's not a bad thing, but it is new. The lighter the color, the more um, definition that you're gonna see in something like that. Now. There are a few different options for other things that are not pole related shorts. <laughs> I'm actually gonna turn back the clock and show you something that I used to wear five or six years ago. I don't even know how I found these. Okay, these are a Nike swim trunk. I just happened to be at the right sporting goods store and they happen to have like swimmers trunks. So these are more of like a square cut boxer. Maybe something that you might wear if you did if you're on the swim team, water polo, something like that. I don't know. I did water polo back in the day. I don't mind wearing a Speedo. If Speedos actually had a third liner and some cooler designs, I might actually wear a Speedo. Another company that I actually wear their bathing suits is a company in Florida. It's called Uzi. It's U-Z-Z-I. -Z I have a couple of these different shorts. They're like short shorts, kind of a biker short type of material, but for the beach. And these ones can actually be worn to pole class if you want to. They're fairly affordable. You can find them online. Um, and they have a few different patterns that are pretty good. But here's the real question. What does it look like? I bet you want to know, don't you, you motorboating son of a bitch. All right, so I'm going to try some of these on. I'm going to let you know what they look like, and then we'll kind of wrap everything up. Welcome to the Acro Pole Studio for Kids That Can't Pole Good. All right, party people, here we are. It's time to try on some pole shorts, show you what they look like on a real person. Fashion show. Option number one were the Lululemon pants, okay? You can just put them on, like grandpa style. You know, you can really like hike these bitches up if you want to. They're gonna look kind of stupid, but really, they're not too bad. I used to like put them on regular, kind of like hike them up a little bit here, you know, make them a little bit more flattering, maybe bring it down a little bit here so you can have like, start to show off the V muscle. But if you need something quick and easy, the Lululemon, you've got those. Then we have this option here. This was the custom built 
Hey Hayes that I had them model after a pair of one of my pairs of underwear. These, they fit like a pair of underwear that I normally wear. Maybe I pull them up just a little bit tighter here, make them really nice. Yeah, do the turn around, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, yeah? What do you think? So here we go, like I said, we have three colors with Dragonfly brand. I've got the black, this has been put on quite standard. Same deal, I tend to hike them up just a little bit, you know, that way I can get a little deeper when I'm on the pole, but I kind of like the way they look, you know? Then we have the purple or the violet color, same deal. I don't know if you can really see any outline or anything like that, maybe if I get a little closer, maybe not, you know? Super comfortable material. I like to adjust them a little bit so they ride up a little bit deeper into the pit of my legs. But you know, overall not too bad of a color. Then we have the nude pair. Like I said, standard. You're gonna see a little bit more of an outline. So if I was to run up to the camera and show you my junk, you would be able to see the outline happening here. Same thing, I still pull them up a little bit. I adjust them, make them feel good, but really, the nude ones I really only use if I'm gonna put in like a performance or something like that. It's not a color that I would actually wear to pole class. These were the swim shorts that I told you about from Uzi. This one's the camel pattern. It's definitely a thinner material than the dragonflies. Still feels nice. Probably isn't gonna last very long, but if you need a quick pair of shorts or something that has a really cool pattern, these will work. Are these something that I might wear in a performance? Probably not, unless I have some type of theme that's gonna warrant uh, a camouflage type of print, but you have these at least for a training short. Then turning it back to the old school, wearing my super old Nike swim trunk that I used to have. This is actually still really comfortable, a nice tight material, kind of thick. Um, I might actually have to bring these out of retirement because they actually feel really good. I don't know why they've been hiding in my drawer for so long, but they have been. So I have two more things I want to show you. These are definitely not the kinds of shorts that I would wear going to a class, but something that I have used for performances or wearing them on stage. The first thing is this one. This is the N2N, okay? I've used this in like probably two different performances already. This has more of the pouch in front, so you can be like, hey, check out my dick, whatever. At any rate, they still fit really good. You can see they're nice and snug on the back. And you know, these are great party time when I'm trying to break out the magic mic. Hi, oh, party boy. And then this other pair right here, this is a Korean underwear, it's called Tebow. And these ones by far are my new favorite pair of underwear. They feel super comfortable. And I don't even know how this stuff comes up in my Facebook feed, right? Sometimes you're scrolling and then these ads are like, hey, do you want some underwear? And I'm like, no, I don't need any underwear today. They're like, two for 15, pay for shipping. I don't, well, actually I just might be interested. So I ordered a pair, they came, they feel amazing, they fit great. I will probably use these for a sexy floor work video or something that I'm going to create a little bit later on down the road that I don't know about yet, but you can expect to see these in some photos and in some videos coming up soon. So just to wrap it up, there are a few different options that you have out there. I'm not saying that one is any better than the other. We have sexy boy shorts, you have performance type of stuff, but if you're looking for something that you can wear consistently day in, day out, that you can beat up, we've got the Dragonfly brand. You can go find yourself some Nikes. I hear Artista does another pair. I think Brandon Grimm made a recommendation as well of something else. Um, for me, if I'm looking for shorts, that I can perform in, something that's performance based. You can shop online, but honestly, the, the best stores that I find are, you could go to the sex store, you can find some men's shorts there sometimes, but usually it's like jock style, or it's got, you know, assless type of underwear, a little too foofy and fruity for me. But if you do go down to the gay store, they have a huge selection of shorts for the men. Um, some of them can be super sheer and see-through, but they do have a really good selection of like, uh, brief underwear that sometimes have the pouch in front, sometimes it's a little bit recessed, something a little bit more sporty. They, they definitely have a lot more options for those types of things. Whether you're gay or straight, it doesn't really matter. But if you're looking for a wide selection of shorts that you need for performance, that's usually the first place that I'll go to to look for something like that. Anyways, this is Acro Brandon. I hope you found this helpful and useful. If you wanna log on to my YouTube, you can. I'm actually gonna start vlogging a little bit more like I mentioned. That's where I'm gonna load everything. You can stay up to date and you can subscribe there. See you later.